presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 122, NASDAQ up 173, S&P is up 37. Gold, gold contract up $26.30, trading at 1963 an ounce. You have silver up a buck, six at $24.35 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 17, trading out at a price point of $76 flat. Notes and bonds, 10-year note. Up one full point plus a tick at 119.09. The 30 year up a full point plus 14 ticks at 125.26. And King Dollar getting smoked down 1201 ticks, 100.530. The Euro at 111, the Yen at 138, and the British Pound at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Okay, so we take a look. First, we're going to get into the futures for a second. Let's take a look at these futures. Come on, get over there. There we go. Okay. So what we had out here this morning is that you had the CPI come out. Bottom line was a you know, light number. You got all the way up to the 4523. We pulled back into the... 44.97, and you can see that was the big bar. You had selling all the way down to the 44.98. Now the top of that bar is 44.08, so that's the one you're going to watch for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Because if we get into that bar again, it'll get down the bottom. That's it's trying to hold that price point right now. You get a slight expansion of volume, but that if it gets into that bar, you're going to be down to the bottom of that bar. We'll test it once again. That's on the futures. If we go to the SPY and take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see inside the SPY, and, you know, talk about a nice call by Tim Ord. Bottom line is that, you know, when he did that workshop, he was saying, hey, we're going back to the highs. Well, here we are. When we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see here is that we had a high volume high on the SPY. That high volume high was uh, laid out at uh, 443.60. Well, 443.60... 444.30 is actually the high. 104 million shares. Well, you get 57 million shares. So in order to have a failure in price in volume, you'd have to get underneath that. And I don't see getting underneath that today. That's the bottom line. You're at 57 million. It'd probably do about 75 million. That's it. You know, so it's going to be a little tricky here. Um, you know, you, you, have, you do have an expansion. And let's see. Let's see. So 114. Yeah, 114.104. Yeah, uh, this is saying to me that we're, we're, we're at highs. That's, that's my take on this, folks. We're at highs. You're going to see this back down because th this is three of them. See, one, two, three. And we did have a contraction on the last one, not by a lot. It had, you know, small numbers. But this contraction today is going to be big. We go take a look at the NDX100, NQs. Now, the NQs let us down this morning also. We take a look at the NQs. Put the NQs up. You're going to see with the NQs, the bottom line is that you made the high out here. 
with 14,000 contracts. She came back up again with five. And at the bottom, we have 20. But you can see that 20, 20 was testing the big number. But the way that's set up is that, now let's go, let me get into the Qs, because I think the Qs actually missed the high by a few pennies. So the high in the Qs, 270, 285. No. Yeah, no, we, we hit it. Now, this is what's going to get interesting. Yeah, see, the Qs can actually have a failure on price and volume, which is really intriguing. Because what you have here is that the, we got over the high. Right now, you're under the high. That right? One second. No, you're not under the high yet. It, but the high is 270, 285. And if that's what we get, that's going to be subtle, but that'll be saying, okay, we'll see how they go on the downside. We go into the gold contract. Well, no, let's go to the dollar first. Because the dollar released, it's bent up. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at this move. Let me pull this back a little bit further. Okay, so the dollar broke. Just about broke. So the dollar, man, you know, this if the dollar can't bounce at all, man, you're going to have all these markets going higher because the way the dollar's set up right now, look at this, man. The way the dollar's set up right now is actually, if this can't get out of here, the dollar's set up to go to 96. And we go to 96, gold's going to go to the moon, the market's going to go to the moon, <laughs> and all of the above. Because you can see, this is a straight line move down. You know? Yeah. That is about as straight as you can get. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the uh, GDX. The GDX is off to the races. What do we have inside this GDX right now? You get wide price spread, you get volume, you get price, you get all of the above. GDX is on its way up to the swing of 36. Right now you're trading 31.95. You can see that wide expansion of volume with, with 30 million shares. The swing point up there has 26 million. So that's a good setup, man. They're coming into that market, and they're coming in uh, gangbusters. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and, it, and right at this point, it doesn't look like we're going to have volume, folks. You have uh, Tesla's up, uh, well, actually, let's do this. I do this every time, but let's go inside the NDX 100 first. So inside the NDX, you can get Pinduoduo do up 6.5 points, uh, percent rather, JD.com up 4, Illumina up 3.7, taken away from it, Lucid. Uh, car make is down 10%. You got uh, Z Scaler off 5.4%. Crowd Strike is off 2.7%. Uh, Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials up 114. NASDAQ up 70, 176. S&P's up 37. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 110. You get the NASDAQ up 174. S&Ps are up 37. Let's go to Mike in Nashville, New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. Cool. Thanks for asking. Uh, I wanted to uh, talk about MJ. Um, I own it. I've been buying pieces of it as it's been, as it's been coming down. Okay. Uh, I just want to know what you think about it. Let's take a look. So MJ, folks, is the uh, pot ETF. Uh, the low for this year is uh, 291. The high is 669. Now, this has been a, a mess, folks, in a monster way, as all the pot stocks have. Um, you know, that being said, I mean... Yeah, I think you're going to get a little action here. I mean, you know, that last swing point up there at 358, Mike, you know, is game. Um, you know, yesterday you got some good volume in it. That swing that's up there has good volume in it. There's action there. I'd be really careful after that point. Well, depending on what type of volume you got as you get up to that level. Um, and more so for the reason that what has happened in that business is that we know it was a commodity business, number one, right? And, you yep. know, when you take a look at this, folks, it's, it's amazing, actually. It's, it's like, okay, we all knew it was a weed. And, you know, like this equity went from $46 down to, who knows what, $291. Um, but you know what's also happening? I don't, I don't know what's happening up in New Hampshire, but I, I suspect this is happening right across the country. And they just had a big article in the Tampa Bay Times with this. Uh, have you heard about this Delta 88, by any chance? No. Mike? No, I haven't heard about that. Okay, so what Delta 88 is, and if you go in your neighborhood, folks, I'm sure there's going to be these shops. What's happening, they're all over St. Pete. There's a, there's a sign, uh, what does it say? Something about getting high. That's the bottom line. Well, there's a couple loopholes that are happening right now that evidently, this Delta 88 is made from hemp, and different states have different laws. But in Florida, there is so much, whatever the, con the co content of THC is, let's put it this way, they're getting around it. That's the bottom line. Um, so you not only have an aspect that, you know, you don't have to get a medical card, and this article is saying that people are actually getting high on it. You follow me? Um, yeah. You know, so there's a huge amount of competition, man. Never mind just regular legal comp well i guess delta 88 is legal that's the bottom line but um you know i don't think any of these are going to be like what all of us probably expected at the beginning do you know what i'm saying 
Okay. But for trade, are I you, think you got something. It or are you, you waiting on the sidelines now? Well, no. I mean, you could for that that swing point going all the way back in April. Um, that wants to get hit. I mean, you had, you had good volume in this last five days. Yesterday, you yeah, had good volume, and again, I know there's legislation in Congress now is what the safe uh, banking law. That's what's going on now. I think. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. But that's swing to pass that, and if that that were to happen, I think we'd see a lot. Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell, man, because you know they. They made this legal for even recreational in New York, and you saw what happened. And now New York's a different animal, folks, because, you know, New York is so big. You know, once they made it legal, every bodega in New York sells pot. I mean, thousands of them. Like, and they're not supposed to be selling pot, man. They don't have a license to sell pot. So all the legal pot sellers are losing money because they had to basically pay a lot for their license. You see what I'm saying? So I think yeah. it's one of these deals, man. You know, you throw a seed in the ground, right? And, you know, you know, and in Massachusetts, right, you can have six plants, right? I can have something. It, what about New Hampshire? How does that work in New Hampshire? Do you know? I, I don't know what the lot is. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. But you see, see where I'm going with it? It's like, okay, you know, if it's that easy to just grow, it's like, okay, how are people going to make money on it? You know? Yeah. So, All right, thank you. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. And I know that's, uh, yeah, if we pull up CGC, this is, uh, see, yes, CGC. This was Canopy. This is Canopy. And, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, yeah, Canopy's at 57 cents, man. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. I, I mean, this is, this is like something that, yeah, I was thinking that, yeah, you ha it is a commodity, but the bottom line, 57 cents? That's down from uh, $56 and 50, $59. And who knows what the heck, I, I forget what the Constellation Brands bought it for. But, you know, and at some point, folks, I think that what you are going to have is that you're going to have the, the, you know, there'll be a branding and that'll be good. But hey, guess what? That's going to be a long time, man. So I'd be really careful in that whole business. Let's get into the S&Ps because what's happening is that this S&P wants to gun this thing because it just got into the bar. Let me see how many minutes we got here. Well, you only get three minutes. This is going to be interesting. Okay. So with three minutes into a 10-minute bar, you already have, look at this. Yeah, this selling this thing. You already have 20,000, 27,000 contracts. And that's the bar I was talking about. See, once you got into that uh, 4508, that's saying, okay, down the bottom is game once again. That's how this thing shakes out. And now this is, this is a monster expansion of volume for four minutes into the bar. We, had, we just made a high with 13,000 contracts and we're only four minutes into the bar and you have 23,000 contracts. So the, bo the bottom bar has 41, so it looks to me like it's gonna go after that bottom bar with probably around the same. We'll see, we'll see how that shakes out. The NQs, we hit the NQs. So the, oh yeah, the NQs are even heavier. Look at this. NQs, you get 9,000. We made a high with five. The bottom is 20. That's a little less selling there. Four minutes, nine, 18. You're gonna, you're gonna do about 20 though on this first bar. So you can expect we're gonna get down to that bar and, and go after that bar. That's the bottom line, folks. You know, on a, that's on the short term basis, on the long term basis, uh, bottom line, if you close at the lows out here today, that is saying you probably get to do a gap down tomorrow. And that would also be saying is that, let's go over to the dollar for a second, because that would be saying that the dollar did 100 percent move of a move. And then you're going to get some kind of anemic bounce on the dollar. Let's do this. TXY. Okay, so if we take a look, yeah, you'd have to get back inside what the 107.85. You're not back inside that yet, but that's what you'd be looking to do, you know. So this is going to get intriguing, no doubt about it. And you know, this is this is an amazing trading market, it really is. 
because the, the spike, we were talking about the spike high yesterday. You got a high spike high. If you're trading out here this morning, you saw exactly what was going on. Market was up. Well, here you can just look at the S&P. <laughs> they took every stop out that was, in, that was in there. Look at this thing. So it was already up before the number come out. Number comes out, and they run it from uh, 4483 to 4523. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down, uh, up 59. NASDAQ's up 145. S&P's up 29. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 77. You can ask, except 154. S&Ps are up uh, 31. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness here. And strength-wise, uh, point-wise, what we have is this. You have uh, Salesforce putting 39 positive points, Goldman 34, Microsoft 31, and Home Depot 29. Taken away from it, United Health minus 72. You get Travelers minus 11, IBM minus 9. And let's go into a couple of the big dogs because we're going to have that rebalance in, which is going to make a huge difference on the 27th, folks. We take a look at Apple. Apple's up a buck 80. It's shaking everything off. <laughs> Apple also has a high volume high, so Apple's not done the way down yet either. 
that's saying that wants to get tested. That's uh, that 194.48 is a high up, uh, high volume high. We go to Google. Google up 181. This could this could be a problem with Google. Google, that's a lot. That's light volume. We got to 120.96 today. Couldn't hold couldn't hold price. That says it wants lower price. I can see Google coming down to this uh, 108. Now check this out. This is important to understand also. When the reshuffling is getting done, Meta is not going to get touched, which is a total mind blow. I'm not quite sure why is that's the case, but Meta is not getting touched. So the high in Meta is 383. It's coming up here with light volume. You know, we'll see how it handles the. Uh, uh, 338 is the next next leg. But for some reason, Meta's not getting touched. They've already actually said that. I believe it's going to be on the website. Let me just see this. I think it's on the website tomorrow. That's how I think this is shaking out. So we get uh, Tesla. Let's pull Tesla up next. Tesla's up three bucks, 272. Okay, so this is this is having a hard time holding price. So that wants to go to the other side of its consolidation, which is 240. Amazon. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Okay, so. Yeah, I can't picture him. I, I don't know how this is going to work with Amazon because Amazon definitely is not. I mean, the high in Amazon is 188. We're only at 130 right now. NVIDIA. Look <laughs> at NVIDIA. My God. Unreal. Yeah, NVIDIA wants us high again. You're up 13 bucks. 439.35. I see what it did. It tested its high today. That last high at 45 million. We're already at 40 million though. So, and Nvidia. This is going to be interesting here. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why what this is all about. So Nvidia is. Let's pull. Yeah, here it is. Nvidia is said to be in talks to help anchor the IPO of SoftBank's. ARM. So for some reason, whatever, you know, ARM, NVIDIA, when, when, you, when you have that, yeah, let me pull this up for a second. NVIDIA is in talks to join a list of investors in anchoring initial public offering of ARM, the chip design and backed by SoftBank. The group of IPO backers won't be finalized until the offering gets underway in the fall. The parties aren't currently, aren't currently Close to a formal agreement, said the people who asked not to be identified. The Financial Times reported that NVIDIA was seeking to invest at a valuation of 35 to 40 billion, lower than the 80 billion that SoftBank wants. Look, we talk about um, valuations and like how you put them. Can you imagine that? So SoftBank wants 80 billion, and NVIDIA is willing to invest at 35 to 40 billion. Oh my God. That is something else. And, you know, SoftBank. <laughs> Forget it, man. This is like a rerun uh, for him going all the way back to 2000 when, you know, he was the big dude going up to 2000, um, got wrecked, and then, you know, bottom line, just raised so much money, took another 20 years to get wrecked again. But the bottom line, uh, that's exactly what's going on. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the GDX because in both cases, we're going to have some juice out here today. Look at that juice, man. The XAU is up. 659, you're going to have huge volume. Yeah, this is on its way. I don't get the volumes until uh, about 8 o'clock tonight. We take a look at the HUI, same setup. Huge, uh, the HUI is up 1239. This game, we're off to the races here, man. And that's going to say uh, whether the dollar does even a, a, you know, a, a dead cat bounce. That's telling me it's done nothing right now, that's for sure.
<laughs> um, but if it does a dead cat bounce, that's still saying that, guess what? Um, this, this gold market, silver market is off to the races. Let's go take a look at silver, actually. Yeah, look at that movement. 78,000 contracts. Look at that. Nice. So let me bring this back further. SI1. Okay, so let's put this. Okay, so you've just breaking the downtrend today. That's even on the weekly. Look at that. Yep. So now we get silver on its way to 2620. That's a weekly. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Now this could get really interesting because on a monthly, watch this. This is almost a classic. Look at that. On a monthly, folks, okay, this wants to go to 30. 56, and you can see what it did. It broke topside. This is a Bud Rolf deal, man. Broke topside, comes all the way back to the, the trend line, rejects it, and then now you're off to the races again. That's a good setup, man. That is a good setup. So it's been a long time, but the bottom line is it looks like it's on the way. That's how this is uh, set up right now. You get the, well, let's go to platinum, PPLT, and see what we have here. I'm sure it's the same way because once the metals start going, they all go platinum. This is the uh, I, uh, the I, not the iShare, the ETF for platinum. That right now is trading, yeah, that gap tire, that's 88. You're inside the larger range. Yeah, this is, this is a good setup. Platinum's going higher, too. They're all going higher. That's the bottom line. And that's, that's saying that whether we get a dead cat bounce on the dollar or not, bottom line, these metals want higher price. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 103. Nasdaq's up 168. S&P's up 35. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial's up 107, NASDAQ up 171, S&P's up 36. You talk about wild, folks, okay? Listen to this. You know, we just had um, the, the call about the weed... And I was talking about New York, right? Well, listen to this. This is unbelievable. The headlines on Bloomberg, this literally just come across it. Watch this. You gotta, you gotta see this, man. This is crazy. <laughs> New York weed stores that got raided by police reopened within 24 hours. Just the day after New York and police and state tax agents raided two locations of the Empire Cannabis Club, the marijuana dispensaries are back in business, showing the challenge of shutting down unlicensed weed stores. On Wednesday, Empire's Chelsea location, sandwiched between a vintage poster shop and Chipotle, just north of Google's 8th Avenue office, was open to customers with air conditioning and hip-hop filtering through the sleek store. A clerk working at the dispensary said it's THC products, the component that gets consumers high, had mostly been confiscated by authorities on Tuesday, but Empire Cannabis Club branded merchandise, hemp, dog treats, and CBC and Vues after sun, after sun lotions were available. He handed up business cards showing plans to open another location in Brooklyn. The Chelsea store was one of Empire's joints raided on Tuesday. The other was the Lower East Side. As the state makes good on a promise to crack down on pot shops operating without state issues license, dozens of stores have proliferated in the last two years since the state legalized possession and gifting of small amounts of marijuana. But before they set up a regulatory regime to allow licensed stores to operate. Agents from the State Department of Taxation and Finance arrived at the storefront, and two em Empire Cannabis Club owners were briefly detained, according to the company. Spokesman for the governor, the state uh, declined to comment. Bottom line is to get the gist of it, folks, okay? Um, you know, even the, the New York folks is so big that what happens is that the last thing they have to worry about is pot. They have to worry about, you know, the streets getting hurt, getting killed, getting, getting all these other things. And that's always been like that, by the way, okay? The bottom line is that, you know, if you want to get caught doing anything, you want to get caught doing it in New York, <laughs> you know, because, because it's such a large state and there's so many large things that actually happen. That, that's the bottom line. Uh, Empire has maintained that it's all legal because it's operating as a not... Oh, look, listen to this. Oh, my God. This is a trip. I did, I'm glad I just looked at this again. Okay. Empire Cannabis Club has been one of the most brazen of the unlicensed dispensary, billing itself as a chain with five locations in New York City. The club has a sophisticated website and presence on social media with Twitter and Instagram accounts. The owners have been quoted extensively in the, in the media. New York City radio station Hot 97 has promoted the grand opening of the company Soho sto Storefront. Man, oh man. Empire has maintained that it's all legal because it's operating a not-for-profit members-only club. It charges $15 for daily pass to enter its storefronts and a $35 membership. Um, let's see, what else... The owners are saying they're prepared for it. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. 
Yeah, I guess you, you operate a nonprofit, then you just take all the money out in salary, right? They're claiming that we abided by all the rules, got in line, had to wait, and uh, we don't think it's fair that other people let you jump in line. Huh? Yeah, th th that's, this, that's, the, that's what that is. That's the folks who basically have the licenses. They really screwed this thing up in New York, that's for sure. And guess what? Just, it's the same deal. I mean, you know, it grows anywhere, right? So, and that, the whole nonprofit thing, that's a whole different swing. I don't, I'm, you know, it must, there must be something inside of the New York law that, uh, <laughs> you know, because could you imagine, just imagine that you're not only selling pot, you're advertising it and you're going on one of the biggest stations in New York City. Yeah. Okay, so they have, they have their problems, no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at a couple of the other big uh, gold stocks out here. We go to Newmont first. We take a look at Newmont. There we go. Newmont busted, got above all its um, resistance out here today. Newmont's on its way up to this uh, 57, the 50, yeah, 57, 52 rather. Gold, mean, meaning barrack. Barrack, that got going too. Barrack's up 75 cents. That wants to get to its swing high. Let's take a look at a couple of the silvers. Yep, EXK, that's up 10%, over 10%. Yeah, when these things stop moving, they stop moving. PAAS. Same deal. Okay, it's time to have some fun, folks. If you haven't got the gold report yet, get over there. Because <laughs> uh, this, this is when it happens, whether, you know, with this run, we'll see how long this run's going to be. But uh, the bottom line, once these things start running, as a couple of our folks are saying in the Tiger's Den, you know, hopefully we won't start getting these gold calls for another, uh, you know, month. <laughs> I know we'll, we'll be shorter than that. But the bottom line is that you can see how long we haven't got gold calls. It, it's been, an, an, it, and I can see why, there's no doubt, okay? Because it hasn't done anything except basically gone down, you know, I meaning the equities also. Uh, but guess what? Now you, now you get action and you have, let me just look at this for a second. So I'm curious as to what... Yeah, so you get a forward P.E. of about 23 in Barrick. Barrick's going to take in 12.2 billion and bring 88 cents to the bottom line. It's not a bad number. We go to Newmont. Let me take a look at Newmont. New one's got a 19 and a half PE. Oh, that's 12.62. That's interesting. Yeah, one second. Let me look at some. 12.6. Wow. Barrick is getting close to Newmont. I said gross sales, which is pretty wild, man. And that's that's really that's quite an expansion for Barrick, but that's. And Barrick, let's go to Copper, because what's going on with Mark Bristow, as far as he's concerned, he wants to get into the Copper business in a monster way. So, and this has to do with electric cars and everything. So Copper's trading out, that's up eight pennies right now, 385 HG1. Pull this back a bit. This hasn't broken its downtrend yet, but it's getting close. Oh, this is on the weekly, this is. Yeah, it's, it's right here. You know, if we get, uh, it's not that one. If we get another day of this, we, you very well may have some action here. Let me put this on a weekly again. HG1. Yeah, it's, it's right there. You get another day like this, then that's saying the cop will make the run uh, to, that's a, that's a good run, 435.
Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 87. NASDAQ up 161. S&P's up 33. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 88. You get the NASDAQ up 165. S&Ps are up uh, 34. Let's go take a look at uh, how we're going to finish off this day volume-wise. So let's see what we have. We have... You have the SPY at 70 million. It's not bad. Not great. 104 was the last one. Yeah, that's, kind of, that's shot volume. That's, that's definitely shot volume. That's in the SPY. The Qs. Now they get some 56 million. Yeah, but that's going into... 80. You know, so you can see the, the, the bottom line is that, you know, this thing's getting tired up here. The thing that's amazing is that, you know, just look at how this is set up, man. I mean, you know, you only had a, a very shallow retracement. You made the first high, the second high, now the third high. Um, yeah. <laughs> And it's been a one-way move. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, bottom line, you're coming into a softer part of the year now. So I, my, my take, you know, I've been running this thing on the way up. But I think uh, this thing's going to get pretty dicey right now where we are. That's how it seems to be setting up. And if you remember, 
um, I get Tim Wood on tomorrow. If you remember, he was talking about the um, 27th going on to like some where in October is, you know, seasonally, you know, a lot less. But not only that, the 27th is the, the uh, reshuffle of the NASDAQ and I think the 25th is the Fed, right? The, let me see. So calendar 26th. The 26th is the Fed. So this is going to get really intriguing. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.